In this presentation, we will turn our attention to adult sex ratio and its effects on population productivity and therefore its implications for harvest management strategies. To illustrate the importance of sex ratio, we will compare two hypothetical moose populations, populations A and B. Here, each picture of a cow or bull represents 10 adult female or male moose in the population. Therefore, both populations live in a habitat that can support 160 moose. Population A has an even one-to-one -one cow to bull sex ratio, whereas the sex ratio in population B favors cows to bulls by a ratio of three to one. If we assume that half of the cows produce single calves and the other half produce twins, we can project that the 80 cows in population A will produce a total of 120 calves in the spring. When the 120 cows in population B calve in the spring, they will have dropped 180 calves on the ground. If we assume that two out of three calves do not survive their first year, that leaves 40 calves in population A and 60 calves in population B that can survive to become yearlings. If 30 calves are needed in the population to replace moose that die naturally, that leaves 10 animals available for harvest in population A and 30 moose available for harvest in population B. So this simple example shows that populations that have a higher proportion of females would likely provide a larger sustainable harvest compared to a population with fewer females. In summary, there are three main points to consider when we look at northern wildlife populations and harvest management issues. Firstly, harvest management strategies need to recognize that mortality from harvesting, hunting, and trapping can be additive to natural mortality and contributes to total mortality in a population. Sustainable harvesting strategies need to be balanced with natural mortality so that total mortality does not cause the population to decline below a targeted level. Secondly, wildlife populations that naturally vary in abundance over time should be harvested conservatively to avoid overharvesting. And finally, Populations that have more females and males will generally produce more offspring and in turn may provide greater opportunities for harvesting up to a point. Thank you very much for your interest. Please view the next video where we will review an example of building a dynamic landscape and wildlife population model.